Alright, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and let's leave no guy behind. Brief editing interlude. I filmed this way back in 2019 and I just found the footage. This was a leave no die behind I filmed for my channel, but I just never finished for some reason. I don't think this goes in the same category as the old dive into dying videos. I have a feeling this was after I filmed the main speckled video for dive into dying, uh, which I will ha link down in the video description. But anyway, enjoy this uh, simple leave no die behind from a younger Rebecca. <laughs> I have here a pot of cooled water that has some vinegar in it, and I am adding some leftover jacquard acid dye powder. I'm starting to add by adding just a little bit of the powder, swirling it up in the cup, and attempting to dissolve all of this color. Now, as maybe you can tell, uh, we have a lot of pigment in here. Uh, the colors that we are trying to use up are some uh, Jacquard Hot Fuchsia, Jet Black, and Turquoise. I imagine that the final color that we get in here will be, it could be purpley, or it could just look black because honestly there was the most of that pigment. Normally you want to add water to the dye and not the other way around so we could have clumps and streaks but yeah we just about got everything dissolved in here and I have a feeling the color is going to be quite black and maybe a purplish tinge. So let's start dyeing. I was sitting here standing, talking, chatting and then I realized that the camera was not recording. Editing Rebecca back because suddenly I realize why, why this video has just been sitting in my still needs to be edited file for so long. The main drama, the main moment when I was dyeing the yarn is missing. Sometimes when I turn on my camera to start recording, when I go and I press the record button, if it has gone to sleep and so like the screen is off on the camera, pressing it the first time wakes it up, but actually doesn't start the actual recording. And so there are times when I miss whatever it is I'm filming because I pressed the button, which should start the recording, but the camera was just waking up from being asleep, and so therefore the recording did not happen. I am sad to admit that this happens I guess not, it doesn't happen every video, certainly, but it happens maybe one or two times a month that I just completely lose whatever it was I was trying to film. And you can't go back in time. Occasionally, if this happens, it's something that I can refilm. But when it's the moment of me adding the yarn to the pot and reacting to that, that's just lost. I took a skein of dry, stroll fingering weight yarn and I've just been adding it and manipulating it in the pot. It is heating up but the water is still not even quite warm yet. There is a lot of vinegar in here um, already but uh, yeah we might need to add more. There's a lot of pigment in here and yeah the runoff looks fairly purpley so I'm surprised by this blue um, that we see on the yarn but we're gonna see how things go as it heats up. Knit Pick Stroll is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. I use this yarn base all the time. It dyes up absolutely beautifully. Um, if you would like to learn more about any of the tools or materials that I'm using in this video, you can find affiliate links in the video description. An unspecified amount of time later, gee, I'm doing a really great job today, guys. <laughs> Okay, but an unspecified amount of time later, um, we've got this beautiful, deep color. It's not navy. Um, maybe it is like a twilight gray. It's not really blue enough to be navy, and you can see there's just some purples left in there, but a lot of the color has, in fact, bound. I'm gonna go ahead and add, I guess, another just over two tablespoons of white vinegar, and I'm keeping the heat on low. Goodness, this is such a pretty color. I don't think it's, it's looking really solid right now. And I think that it'll feel less solid as, um, 
I think it'll feel less solid once it's dry, but I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna leave this on the heat for another 10 minutes, um, and then we will come back and check on it. Let's take another, look, take another look at our steamy, steamy pot. There is still a little bit of purple in there, but I feel like it is clearing. And who knows, maybe the Jacquard fluorescent fuchsia it's a little bit like that purple pop and those pinks need to cool off to absorb the yarn completely. Either way, I have turned off the heat and I'm gonna leave the yarn in the pot to cool slowly and completely so we can absorb as much of that color as possible. The water has cleared completely, so now we can wash our yarn. Ooh, this is pretty. I'm excited to see just how much tonal variation there is in here. But now I am going to add a little bit of some dish soap. Uh, just make sure that there's no bleeding and that all of our dye is in our yarn. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. All right, I am going to wash out the soap and then get back on. And then put the yarn to my spin and heat it to dry. I actually have more old footage that I have been stalling on, uh, including <laughs> including a dyeing yarn with food coloring 101 video that I filmed. I filmed all the B-roll in a live stream many years ago. I think that that is all good, but I did like the voiceovers twice and like wasn't thrilled with it. And I think that I'm much more comfortable in front of the camera now. So I think I can do a better job with that. So it'll be a few years late, but hopefully in the new year, that's something that I will finally, finally release. <laughs> but let's go look at the finished yarn. Here is our finished yarn, and this is how I've stored it for years. Well, there was still a zip tie on it, but it's been just sort of sitting, waiting for me to come and share it with you. I have some different organizational ways that I play with yarn that still needs some conclusions and things filmed versus when it has everything filmed but just needs to be edited. And this was not hanging out in the needs to be edited or needs more filming box because of the length of time that had passed. And so I think part of me was waiting both for Dive Into Dying to come out because those videos came out, even though I filmed them summer of 2019, they didn't come out until 2020. So that was just one factor, but then I think my organization and everything evolved since I had originally filmed this. But anyway, let's take a closer look. I wouldn't call the yarn glazed per se, but there are some elements of softness here, just from the ways that the different pigments that we mix together bound onto the yarn. And again, it's just a very pretty, neutral, subtle tonal. This is a very bluish, gray. It is a beautiful neutral. Uh, we do have some beautiful tonal variation in here, and I believe there might be a rogue speckle on it, but I don't see that this moment. When I was watching through the footage, I realized that this was one of the first times I ever played with Jacquard's Hot Fuchsia and Turquoise. True Turquoise? I'm blanking on the name at the moment, which is a little bit silly. Uh, but I don't think I had done the triad color mixing with them, so I didn't have the understanding that that hot fuchsia is the same as fluorescent fuchsia from Dharma. It's that same pigment. And so, yeah, when I was like, oh, maybe it's like purple pop. Yes, yes it is. It's that, it's that pink fluorescent molecule. I don't think I appreciated that it was fluorescent back then. I want to dye more tonals. I love tonals. I love knitting with them. They're just some of my favorite types of colorways to use. I love the soft variation and that it's not just like a pure single color. They really, really excite me. However, I feel like the dyeing process isn't always the most exciting because a lot of what happens is the dyeing that happens in between when I add everything to the pot and then I come back 30 minutes later. But would you like to see me do more tonals and semi-solid type videos? I'm really excited to do that. 
I'm also really excited to lean into some of the techniques I did for the 2022 Chemist Hanukkah special because a lot of times when I know those videos are coming up soon, I don't want to do those same techniques for a video that will come out right before, even though it would be filmed after. And so I have a feeling that a lot of the Hanukkah stuff will be revisited in early 2023. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I hope you enjoyed this dive back into some old footage. There are many different things that result in me not using something I filmed very quickly. Uh, and honestly, one thing depends on how far in advance I am on my schedule with editing. Because sometimes there are videos that I will save for a long time in like my last minute lab partner folder because I think they're fun and I leave it to allow one of you to become a lab partner for it. And because I have enough other stuff filmed that there are things that, and maybe also sometimes I don't want to edit it because I feel like there's a lot of really long sections of me rambling and it's going to require a lot of tedious editing. There are reasons why sometimes I just avoid it entirely, but sometimes things just get pushed back again and again and again. And then there's times when, you know, I'm realizing, oh, I want to try to use some of this old content because it's been sitting here four years since 2019 and so then I bring it back and I don't know it, it's fun it's fun to hear the older cadence in my voice as I'm filming a video because I don't know I don't feel like I put on a different filming voice but I probably do because it's more like projecting presenting I don't know it's fun for me to see that and there's not a lot other stuff like this but there's a few again random clips and things that I filmed that I want to share because I don't know it's also like clearing off a to-do list. It's like I've snoozed this for long enough. I should finally share it. But I really hope that you've enjoyed this silly little video. So please make sure you're subscribed. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any new content. And I will see you soon with a brand new video. Bye!